What's up, everybody? Welcome back to my kitchen, and thank you for coming to check out what Billy B's cooking today. Uh, today, we're going to be doing some beer battered shrimp, and uh, we're doing it on the stove top. I already got the oil preheating uh, on the stove. All we got to do now is uh, get doctored up. Give me just a second. All right, now we're ready for surgery. Uh, here, what I'm going to do now is I got these... Uh, these shrimp, uh, deveined, deveined and peeled, peel all the way down to that part of the shell. Leave that for a little finger, finger food. You'll see, you'll see what that handles for in a minute. Right now, I just want to get these in here. Then we are going to put a little olive oil in here, right? Dry hand, wet hand. Put our olive oil in there. Thank you. Yeah, take your hat with you. Um, it's got olive oil in there. Now we're going in with our seasonings for this. We're going to season this first. Then I got the flour and stuff over here. Going in with some obey. A generous amount of obey. Should be good. Then I got some. Then I got some Zatarain's blackening seasoning. Put that in there a little bit. Good. Then we got dry hand, wet hand. We got some. This is Malden's smoked sea salt. Flaked smoked sea salt. Just kind of grind it up between your hands. All right, uh, now, that's it for that. <clears throat> Give this a good stir. You want everything, you want all that to incorporate with the shrimp. Try not to beat your shrimp up. You don't want to break nothing, break the tails off nothing. Just kind of get it, get those seasonings incorporated all over it. All right, so now that you got everything seasoned up, <laughs> We're going to let that sit for a minute. Uh, we're going to come over here. We're good on this. So, this flour. So, this is uh, just regular flour I got in here, right? And I probably got a cup, cup and a half. About a cup and a half. I'm going to use about one and a half tablespoons. Uh, baking powder, but it's double acting baking powder. It's got uh, cornstarch in it also. And that cornstarch is going to help it, uh, it's going to make it even crispier, right? And you're like, well, Billy, you going to spice that up? Well, yes, yes, I am. Um, but first, going in with our beer. And you see I'm measuring, right? <laughs> I hate measuring, I don't measure. Just kind of mix it up and see where it's at with the consistency. And I'll show you in just a little bit what that's supposed to look like. I gotta hurry up, I got my oil about ready. A little more beer. That mixed up in there. And Uncle Billy gonna throw a twist at you. Alright. Once we get this where we want it, it is coming along. This is how we're going to season up the breading. Got some chipotle puree. One. Two generous teaspoons of that there. Get that stirred up in the mix. All right, and to this, 
We're going to add some cracked black pepper. And we're going to add some more of this flaky salt. Just enough to season up the breading. And that chipotle, that's going to give it a good spice to it, too. And then the old bay is already on the shrimp before it goes in, so you know that's going to be good. All right, and uh, that's about the consistency you want. And come over here with me, and you'll see me put it in the, in the, in the grease. Come on. All right, so first, you want to grab the shrimp by the handle. And grab the shrimp by the handle. Get it in your batter. Let the excess drip off of there. And then when you put it in the when you put it in the grease, you're gonna lay it away from away from you. So it don't splatter. Alright, and you're gonna do it again. Make sure you get your shrimp fully coated. Let it drip. Like I said, that's about the consistency you want. And then just lay it in. And we're going to do these in batches. You don't want to crowd your pan. So let me get these in here. We'll be right back. All right. And after about a, after a couple minutes, you just kind of want to flip them. If you can, grab them by the tail so you don't mess up the breading. Once you can see the browning on it. See that bad boy right there? That's done. And you can also tell, it's good to leave the tails on because when you see the, the shell is pink, I see the pink on that tail, that lets you know the shrimp's done cooking. Or if the tail's missing like this one, you can tell that that shrimp's been in a fight. And this is probably who he's fighting with. Alright, so there you have it. Uh, beautiful beer battered shrimp. And uh, as a side, I made some broccoli and cauliflower florets, uh, baked them in the oven. Then just threw some Colby Jack cheese, sprinkled over the top of it, you know, grated up some fresh Colby Jack. And uh, some salt, pepper, butter. Those are great, too. Let's get a taste test on everything. Oh, uh, just to show you, I mean, this is a, that's a pretty picture, right? But um, let me show you, too. I just did one pound of shrimp, right? Large shrimp, one pound. Look how much I got left over. So it was only $12, $13 for all this shrimp. And I'm going to have this for another day or two. I'm going to have this right now. So don't be scared of seafood at the grocery store. Just go check it out for price. And like I said, one, two people. This is two meals for two people. So same way, let's get a taste test. Uh, I know those are going to be great. Let's see what's up with this shrimp. And uh, like I said, you see how to see the pink of the tail? That's how you know it's cooked. So. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Yes, sir. <laughs> yes, sir. Daddy will be making these again. Mm-hmm. 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 Mm. Oh my god. Oh man, that is delicious. I can taste a hint of the old bay that we first put on the raw shrimp itself. But then I can taste the chipotle in the breading. Remember we did a little stir it up? God dog, those two just marry with the it's got a smoky flavor, it's got a that that sweet heat to it. Oh my God, that is delicious. Mmm. Oh, wait a minute. I forgot. I forgot something. Hold on. I always forget something. Um, I got this at the store when I was there at Publix. Uh, 
Tell me if you can see it. I was going to make a garlic aioli to go with this, but I didn't want that much mayonnaise. So anyway, it's a Florida stone crab sauce. All right, and I've tasted it. Um, you know, I tasted it when I opened the jar earlier. And it's made with fresh ground horseradish, right? It's got uh, horseradish, water, vinegar, egg yolks, cornstarch, mustard seed, honey, salt, sugar, lemon juice, caramel coloring, paprika. Anyway, this is delicious stuff. Let's see what let's see what it does. God, oh, these are so good. Uh, get you some of this. That's good stuff too. Mmm. 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 Oh. Mmm. That is not beans and bologna. Good Lord. And look at that shrimp. I know it's nasty. Look at my food. It's perfectly cooked. When you fry shrimp, uh, you know, and breading, once your breading looks done, you get a good crust. You hear that? You get a good crust on it. Um, and the tail, like I said, the tail is pink. You know you got to cook perfectly. Oh my gosh! And in this sauce, ah, mmm, 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 mmm. Mm. <laughs> I don't know how to act. Good lord! All right, let's try some of this roasted broccoli and cauliflower. You see, it's got some char marks on it from the broiler. I don't know if you can see it. That's that's good stuff too. Get some char on your vegetable. Y'all, mm, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I must leave y'all. Um, I got. I got to do something to this, and I don't want nobody seeing. When well, I'm finna get caveman on this, I'm gonna have sauce flying everywhere. Uh, I'd like to say thank y'all for coming back to my kitchen and checking out Billy B cooking. Uh, I hope you can tell some improvements. I mean, my demeanor is probably not gonna change. I'm just gonna be an idiot out the hole but got a new cordless microphone so i hope you can hear me a little better got a new phone so hopefully the video quality is a little better i'm gonna proofread this too and if it's uh if you can see a little too much i might have to downgrade again anyway thank y'all for coming back to my kitchen you know i love you and i'll see you soon